Berlin really surprised us so much. Just, uh, it's not as touristy as we thought. The drunken bear. Berlin is a really interesting place in the world. It has a culture unlike many other countries and really has its own way of doing things. In this video, we'll dive into the top things you can do when visiting this incredible city. Oh, and they really love their bears. First up is a big part of Berlin's modern history, the Berlin Wall. It really is an interesting walk along the wall as you soak up not only the history of Berlin, but also the art and culture that has spawned because of it. Along the wall, you will see a lot of art. This mainly focuses on social and political commentary and it really is an interesting viewing experience. After a long walk, we stumbled upon a cafe called The Past Is Over, and we were really happy that we did. Berlin's cafes always seem mysterious on the outside and uniquely different on the inside. Okay, so this, this here is a green tea chai latte. So this place had heaps of different types of chai lattes, and I'm always a bit worried about it too, because sometimes it can be too spiced. Uh, this one is, like everything in Berlin so far, incredible. Ah, so creamy, so flavoursome. Nice and sweet too. The fridge is full of beers. Yeah, and that fridge back there that you can see is actually just take, take it as you go and then you pay for it later. Checkpoint Charlie was once the crossing point between East and West Berlin. Today it is a place with a really odd vibe about it. Many tourists stand around taking photos and the soldiers are more than happy to put on a show. This guy just took a swim in the freezing river. The architecture in Berlin is breathtaking, and we started off at the Reichstag building. It was a beautiful sunny day to walk around and take in the sights and sounds around this gorgeous building. Close by is the Brandenburg Gate, an 18th century monument which is really amazing to experience up close. The detail in this building is so interesting and a delight to behold. Behind this is Pariser Platz. A square which is an urban space where people are walking around and soaking in the surrounds. Along with buskers and street performers, this area really is a beautiful place to hang around in Berlin. We found our city. There's bears everywhere. So many bears. Look. It's hard to choose which building is more striking, but I think my favourite might have to be the Berlin Cathedral. It really is an amazing landmark to take in, and on the edge of the river on a beautiful sunny winter's day, we really enjoyed the view. Right next to that is the Altus Museum. It was built in the 1800s and houses the Antiquities Collection.
Café Dritte Raum was another nice surprise which we stumbled upon. We enjoyed a delicious breakfast here and a lovely tea. The atmosphere very much felt like a cosy living room with a chilled out vibe. This place is really popular with the locals and with tourists too, alike, and this is why. It was our first taste of currywurst and it really is a flavour bomb, with sausage and chips bombarded with sauce and mayo. There is plenty of hip vintage fashion on offer here, and with the beautiful architecture of the buildings as the backdrop, we absolutely fell in love with this area of Berlin. If you're looking for a cool cafe to relax and have some delicious food, then head down to Hallisches House. A hipster style cafe with high ceilings and shared tables. The food on offer tastes very fresh and delicious and the coffee is pretty good too. I had a really yummy cheese and tomato sandwich while Rachel was a little more daring and had a sandwich with pear inside it. There's also a little homeware section selling cool little knickknacks and a great courtyard for those warmer months. This is for James and Sarah, live life in a box. We stumbled on a tourist poster of Australia, which seemed rather perplexing. Berliners love their music, and vinyl stores are a great place to see what's the latest trends hitting the German music scene. They especially love their techno. The street art is everywhere around this area and it adds to the creative vibe that Kreuzberg seems to take in its stride. A short stroll will get you to Maheinecke Markthalle, a great little market with a wide selection of food on offer. Here you will find a lot of fruit and vegetables, plenty of varieties of cold meats, And of course, our favourite food, bread. After loading up on food supplies, we walked nearby to Barbie Bar, which is a very quirky bar indeed. There are Barbies everywhere here. On the tables, on the benches and all over the bar. How's yours? So yummy. It's massive. Flavorful. Mm. That's Nick. Hi! I am Rachel. I'm Nick. And this is Osito. If you are a new person in our channel, please subscribe to our channel to see more videos about us, about Australia or any journey to overseas. And once you subscribe, don't forget to click the notification button so that you get uh, the first video. Yeah, and that notification button sits just next to the subscribe button and it's just like a little bell. You just click it. Yeah, that's gonna make you um, the first viewer for our videos. Mm. Anyway, see you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.